One of the many close races across the country in Oregon this election season, it's in the 5th Congressional District. Longtime Congressman Kurt Schrader was defeated in the Democratic primary by Jamie McLeod Skinner. And now McLeod Skinner does face a tight race against Republican Lori Chavez de Reamer. Lisa Balick here after talking with the candidates about some of the top issues right now, Lisa. Yeah, and I think like, you know, a lot of these races that are very close, they're big talkers. A lot of people saying, hey, who do you think is going to win? But I guess the question is, the race is still so close. Even though the candidates differ on many issues, one of the big challenges is appealing to voters who live in such different parts of the state within this district. Take a look at the district. It's redrawn after Oregon got to add an additional district now that there are more people living in the state. The newly drawn 5th district curves from parts of Portland through Clackamas, Marion and Lynn counties and includes a chunk of Deschutes County. That's where Democrat Jamie McLeod Skinner lives. Last year I was leading wildfire recovery in southern Oregon just down the road from where I finished high school. Um, so it's always been about public service. McLeod Skinner works as an emergency preparedness coordinator for the state. She's also an attorney. She grew up in rural Oregon and has worked in local government as a planner, city manager and city council member. Former Happy Valley Mayor and City Council Member Lori Chavez Dureemer has lived in Oregon for almost two decades. She's the marketing director for a network of medical clinics she co-founded with her husband. With that experience of being a mom, being a business owner, uh, being a mayor and understanding you know, a lot of the on the ground issues of what people are concerned with, to now to the seat and running for Congress in Oregon. One difference between the candidates is their views on gun control laws. McLeod Skinner supports ballot measure 114 to tighten gun and ammunition purchases. Look, my dad hunt to put food on our table. My father-in-law grew up hunting in Eastern Oregon. It's not about having guns or not having guns. It's about the responsible uh, ownership and management of guns. And the vast majority of responsible gun owners are wanting to see some additional uh, measures in place to help protect our communities. Chavez Dureemer does not support measure 114. There are lots of laws on the books that protect um, our communities for people who shouldn't have weapons if they've had a misdemeanor or a felony, domestic abuse um, in their background. You, you can't acquire a weapon uh, without filling out a form already. There's, there's numerous background checks and I think we would rather incentivize responsible gun ownership than mandate gun ownership. Another issue they differ on is abortion rights. Dereemer had tweeted support back in May for a federal bill called the Heartbeat Bill that would restrict abortions after six weeks with exceptions. Now after the Supreme Court ruling, she says she opposes federal restrictions. Here's what I would support. We know that a majority of Americans and Oregonians want access um, to abortion up until um, the first trimester. That's, we understand that. And that's protected here in Oregon. Also for rape, incest, and the life of the mother, of course. But Cloud Skinner says she is strongly pro-choice. It is a federal issue, and anyone telling you anything else is not telling you the truth. So uh, I believe fundamentally government needs no one to help out and when to get out of the way. This is, it's not the right of politicians to tell us what to do with our bodies or when to start our families. Both candidates are working hard to appeal to the largest group of voters in the district, those who are not affiliated with any political party. Now, bottom line in all this, Oregon will get a new member of Congress representing the 5th District, no matter how this race turns out. Yeah, a new face coming in from Schrader. And it's interesting because we also talked about how no matter what polls say, there are several undecided voters as well. So we'll really only know until three weeks from tonight on Election Day. Tens of thousands at yeah. least of undecided voters at this point.